welcome to this web discussion today's set of questions is here and uh, the first one goes like which bank has launched InstaFlexi Cash, an online overdraft facility for its pre-approved salary account customers? Now, pre-approved is pretty important because pre-approved signifies that the person's uh, of pretty good credit standing. I mean, someone who could the bank could lend to and expect the money to be repaid. So, InstaFlexi Cash uh, has been given is been launched by ICC Bank. IC ICF Bank. What about the you know the head offices or CEOs of these foreign banks? Kodak Mahindra CEO is Kodak Mahindra Bank CEO Uday Kotak Uday Kotak Uday Kotak HSBC um, Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. Okay. Head office London. London. CEO is HSBC Group CEO is Noel Quinn. Noel N O E L. Noel Quinn. Q U I N N. I repeat. Q U I N N Noel Quinn. Hmm. Next, we have Barclays. Barclays is a major, you know, financial services company. Barclays, head office, London. And the CEO is Jess Staley. Jess, J E S, Jess Staley, S T A L E Y. I repeat, Jess Staley, S T A L E Y. Jess Staley. Citigroup CEO is uh, Michael Corbett. Michael, M I C H A E L. Michael Corbett, C O R B E T. Corbett. Hmm. New York, uh, New York City is the head office. City Bank or City Group, New York City, New York City. ICICI Bank, as you know, is headquartered in Mumbai, and the um, CEO is Sandeep Bakshi. Sandeep Bakshi. Check there. The Union Ministry of Commerce and Industry has launched a new scheme called NIRVIC related to. Okay, that's the answer there for it's basically to help exporters, you know. So, what is the scheme about? Please write. Please write about the scheme. Right, NIRVIC. Underline that. First point, we'll take the full form. NIRYAT. N I R Y A T. NIRYAT. N I R Y A T Niryat Rin R I N N Rin Vikas Rin Vikas Yojana Rin Vikas Yojana and like that. So we are going to take highlights, you know, highlighters basically in simple form, no grammar, nothing. Okay. One, right, one provides, provides. Enhanced, enhanced means larger, raised, increased. Provides enhanced, E N H A N C E D, enhanced insurance cover, enhanced insurance cover. Second point, second point, reduced premiums, reduced, R E D U C E D, reduced means decreased. Reduced premium for small exporters, for small exporters, number three, provides, provides simplified procedures, simplified procedures 
for claims settlements for claims c l a i m s claims settlements settlements next next point is slightly longer insurance cover insurance cover for banks for banks up to 90% for for working capital loans for working capital loans needs one of the same for low working capital loans okay that's one next point moderation moderation means decrease in the intensity if the premium is very large they try to reduce it moderate moderation m o d e r a t i o n moderation in premium for the msme sector for the msme sector the msme sector to provide to provide additional support additional support to the banks to the banks in the wake of w a k wake means in the consequence you know as the new situation comes about in the wake of global slowdown global slowdown and rising nps and rising nps rising nps so banks would not be very interested in lending to exporters considering that there is a slowdown in thing so what they try to do is they try to you know insure their loans now if the premium is very high then the exporter suffers a lot yeah because the premium goes there whatever profit comes the premium has to be paid for you know pre see when i pay premium on the loan you know i take uh, then that is on the, the insurance if i pay premium on the insurance for the loan that i take now you may wonder why should i take insurance for a loan see if i take a loan and let's say i die who will pay the loan that's the bank's worry so the bank says because you're taking a loan this is peculiar to home especially home loans okay and of course exports also if i take a home loan and i die before i pay who will pay you may think okay bank will have the house and everything the bank may not be greatly interested in the house okay because uh, the sale value depends on a lot of factors and money is stuck there so the what the bank normally would do is it would ask you why don't you say they would tell me bharat why don't you take an insurance plan so term insurance plan so in case something happens to you the money from your insurance plan benefit from the insurance plan will come to us okay if there is anything extra more than the loan amount it will the difference will go to your family the nominee that's how it is so people also think like this instead of losing the house or losing i mean being a financial burden after death so why not take an insurance plan similarly when i take a loan the bank would expect me to pay you know would expect me to take a, a, a take an insurance plan so the government says uh, we will try to reduce the insurance plan so that the margin is higher okay but otherwise you know exports are in great now considering that there has been a very big slowdown in global economic conditions global economic growth okay things are not very good likely to get better in the next 2 3 months if there is a vaccine hmm? so with state has launched ghar ghar nigrani mobile application to sorry to undertake house to house to house surveillance to control covid-19 pandemic well it's punjab punjab has done this punjab has had major super spreaders there was one super spreader who said to have infected about 800 people because he was saying he went around meeting people and all that to kafi gadbad ho gayi wahan pe so anyway um you know uh, i would want to tell you that punjab is uh, 
the word punjab comes from two separate words punj is five ab means water the land of five waters waters in plural means water body so in this case five rivers in this case five rivers so um, you have uh, punjab's chief minister there amrinder singh amrinder singh now, who has been fired as the deputy chief minister of rajasthan what's his name sachin pilot sachin pilot hmm so haryana uttar pradesh arunachal pradesh arunachal pradesh cm we'll just take things that we don't generally know okay so please write um arunachal pradesh pema khandu pema p e m a pema p e m a pema khandu k h a n d u khandu pema khandu pema khandu it is among states india's least densely populated least densely populated or you could say most sparsely there is a word for it sparsely s p a r s e l y sparsely populated means kam bahut kam population hona so you divide total population by total area you get number of people per square kilometers so that is what is called density of population so total population by total area you get density of population in the case of arunachal pradesh it is i think 17 ek saath 17 okay now uh, meghalaya's chief minister is uh, conrad sangma conrad sangma conrad sangma hmm who is the winner of the 2020 richard dawkins award now you must know who is richard dawkins richard dawkins is a scientist he is basically an, a biologist and uh, of course he is also he is he has played a lot of roles and richard dawkins is one of the world's most famous atheist nastik a t h e i s t atheist so he is a nastik and uh, in his name an award has been instituted and this year's winner has been javed akhtar javed akhtar is um, the bollywood lyricist script writer you know poet and all that stuff so he is a confirmed atheist he is open he is an open atheist he does not believe in the existence of god that's what javed akhtar has time and again said uh he has two children and both the children are raised as atheists hmm? they have been raised as atheists um farhan akhtar and joya akhtar they have been raised as atheists so what about the choices here all of them are atheists all of them are atheists and all of them are winners of richard dawkins awards and all of them are big shots please write christopher hitchens i have one of his books Christopher Hitchens okay um dash 2011 Richard Dawkins award so you just write the award year basically okay richard sorry uh, christopher hitchens 2011 2011 it's a pretty controversial chap he is dead of course and um, he's extremely intelligent i mean it was extremely intelligent very wise the way he would argue things without any kind of rancor any kind of anger he would state his ideas and he wrote one book uh it was a biography of mother teresa in which he talked about how she used religion how she used poverty you know disease to push christianity that's what the you know the book says So Christopher Hitchens's book you write that book's name the missionary position the missionary position m i s s i o n a r y missionary position the missionary position dash mother teresa mother teresa in theory and practice mother teresa in theory and practice mother teresa and theory in practice like for example he talked about you know she would take money from the 
worst dictators in the world. Now you may say that well that was for a good purpose. Well then he said if she it was for a good purpose that's great but whose money was the dictator having? Whose money did the dictator give to her? His own people's. Like for example Haiti there is a country called Haiti H-A-I-T-I -I. it's in the, you know, in the West Indies. Haiti's dictator Papa Doc and his son Baby Doc D-O-C. Papa Doc looted a lot of his country's wealth and he gave that money, some of that money to Mother Teresa. Who? Mother Teresa. So if someone would say that she had used that money for the poor and all, but what about the poor of Haiti? H-A-I-T-I. -I. Whose money was it? It was the, you know, the people of Haiti's money. You know, it was their money. So plenty of such arguments happen. So if you read, you get all kinds of data. Yeah. Uh, because uh, it just helps that you know I read a lot for example there is this lady from Somalia called Ayan Hirsi Ali Somalian settled in Netherlands okay um, she she gave up Islam she renounced Islam and she co-produced a film along with someone called, uh, who was later murdered the film was called Submission Look, I will tell you something. I have no interest in religion. Okay, guys, I am your teacher. I have absolutely no interest in religion. And just because there is a question, I am telling you about these things. Not because I would hurt someone, but because I would want you to understand that these everyone has opinions. These people have opinions. You would necessarily don't have to agree with them. Okay? People are different. People, all kinds of people are there in this world. So, um, you see, there are people who say the earth is flat. Is the earth flat? But then they will tell you the earth is flat. So you have to live with all kinds of people. Um, Ayan Hirsi Ali made a co-produced a film called Submission. Submission is the literal meaning of the word Islam. So in this film, you know, she criticized Islam and she talked about how you know the religion suppresses women and all. A few days later, the, the director was killed by a Moroccan Islamist. Okay, his name is Theo Kock, the, 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 the director. He was killed. Anyway, um, she's the writer of a book called Heretic, H E R E T I C. H E R E T I C, Heretic. And she won the Richard Dawkins Award in 2008. 2008. 2008. Richard Dawkins Award, 2008. The book's name is Heretic, H-E-R-E-T-I-C. Heretic is someone who does not, who has given up organized religion. Who has given up organized religion. Someone who does not believe in the existence of God. Someone who goes against established faith. Okay. Lawrence Cross. He is a professor of science, a man of science. He could write um, one book he has written. Um, the Universe from Nothing. The Universe, the universe from Nothing. Sorry, a universe, not the universe. A universe from nothing. A universe from nothing. And he won the prize about four years back, 2016. 2016. 2016. See, because, uh, see, when he says, the book's title says, A universe from nothing. Often people talk about God is a creator, Bhagwan is a creator, of, you know, uh, everything has been created by the Almighty. And he talks about that there is nothing like it, it's self-created. Okay, I read all this stuff, so it's very interesting. I mean, of course, on the other side, you know, one reads Mahabharata, you know, all kinds of religious works. It gives you a different perspective, it's good. Hmm? Always be tolerant of other people's ideas. People are different. People are just different. It's like a buffet. Okay? Your friend may not start with what you start with in a buffet. That's how it is actually. Yeah? Rebecca Goldstein is again a professor and she is the author of this book called The Mind Body Problem. The Mind Body Problem. The Mind Body Problem. 
she won the Dawkins award in 2014 2014 2014 hmm. and I think I forgot to tell you uh, about one great work of Richard Dawkins two books you write two of his books amazing books is written one is the selfish gene the selfish gene g e n e the selfish gene g e n e and his most controversial book the god delusion the god g o d god delusion d e l u s i o n god delusion the god delusion okay shall Which of the following is a fund that tracks an index and can be traded in a stock? Obviously, exchange traded, exchange traded fund. Mutual funds cannot be traded in a stock exchanges. Insurance fund cannot be. So only exchange traded fund can be, you know, bought and sold on a stock exchange. Um, maybe sometime next week we will discuss stock markets. Uh, I have had this discussion in the past over four sessions. I discussed stock markets. But maybe I will bring this back so that we can, those of you who have had these classes, who have sat through these classes, you will, you should be, you know, you will be able to revise and those who are new will learn something new. Okay. And I uh, will also discuss Hong Kong. I remember I didn't, I plan to discuss today, but not today. Maybe yeah, on Monday, in the Monday class, we will discuss Hong Kong. Okay. Chale. Which of the following means? Um, Spreading the risk in the investments by investing in a number of companies instead of in a single firm or a type of company or basically in a single investment. What you basically say is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your wealth, all your investments in one asset. That's what it is. It's called hedging. Hedging. Okay. Simply just write one line. Hedging dash strategy to reduce strategy to reduce investment risk investment risk investment risk that's it you have 50,000 rupees with you why invest all the 50,000 in let's say mutual funds why invest all maybe if someone says no no sona kharidenge 50,000 all in sona someone says no no you know gold fixed deposit safe let's put 50,000 in mutual you know fixed deposit so sometimes what happens is that the investment see fixed deposits you may not lose your money but the returns are great okay but then sometimes people say no if you put in stock market you may lose all the money which is also true so what people suggest is what is a good strategy is to divide this 50,000 into small parts and thoda either thoda out the thoda that's all it is that's the best thing to do yeah. You know, uh, if you observe elders normally when they travel, they put money in different pockets. Thoda either, thoda other, thoda under ki pocket mein, all that kind of thing. Why? Because if there is a big pocket, someone steals our money, we may not lose all the money. That's how it is actually. Hmm? Arbitrage, uh, you could say, um, write this. Buying an asset, buying an asset at a lower price at a lower price in one market in one market in one market and sell it and sell it in another market at a higher price at a higher price at a higher price the higher price dash the difference the difference is a profit the difference is a profit hmm a lot of people do this hmm? break even is a no profit no loss thing break even means no profit no loss that's a point where the cost is recovered but no profit has come in so no cost, so no profit, no loss. 
insider trading not now maybe in one of the sessions okay because it takes a lot of examples dash is the value of all finished goods and services produced by a country's nationals in a year so we know what is gdp gdp is the value of all goods and services produced in one country in one year produced by in one country in one year you take that definition then we'll take gnp right gdp dash money value of all goods and services money value of all goods and services produced in one country produced in one country in one year in one year produced in one country in one year okay so when you say gdp gross domestic product gross means total domestic means means within the national boundaries of the country remember within the national boundaries of the country so within the boundaries of the country whatever you and i would produce yeah mouse the glass you know uh, this paper okay this pen this laptop whatever i mean absolutely anything this phone i deliver service you produce a bag a mobile phone the money value everything is added the final value we get is gdp okay but you know gdp doesn't capture isn't a true reflection of a country's total output why because see there could be some indians who live abroad who earn money there yes and then there could be some foreigners making money in india isn't it yes so what the government says is let's have the, what economy says there is a method to calculate the exact output of a country and that is gnp gross national product you could write this gross national product gross national product dash put an equal sign is equal to is equal to gdp plus gdp plus income earned by income earned by indians indians living abroad or working abroad working abroad minus minus income earned by foreign nationals foreign f o r e i g n foreign nationals foreign nationals in india in india foreign nationals in india see this so let us say we have 100 rupees gdp plus indians have made 10 rupees outside okay so that's 110 foreigners have made 7 rupees in india so 110 minus 7 103 so that's the gnp of the country typically there are fewer foreigners working in india than the number of indians working abroad that's how it is so our gnp is always higher than our gdp that's it simple okay guys simplify things things will work better net national product balance of payments balance of payments we i think we already discussed what is the uss rank see when a word ends in s like this you put an apostrophe like this it means there is an another s okay when the uss that's how you read it what is the uss rank among the largest countries by area fourth what are the largest countries shall we take uh, up to eighth or seventh we'll see okay right one you write world's largest countries world's largest countries um uh, one one russia russia r u s s i a russia pronounce russia two sounds are there rush a two sounds are there okay but we can say russia so one russia area 1.7 crore square kilometers 
1.7 crore square kilometers 1.7 crore square kilometers rank 2 canada canada 99 lakh square kilometers 99 lakh square kilometers 99 lakh square kilometers so now on everything will be lakh square kilometers so you can simply put detail marks okay after the number 3 china 96 96 see when i say 96 it is between 96 and 97 okay so 3 china 96 but china's area does not the 196 does not include uh, aksai chin yeah, that is what is called china occupied kashmir uh, ladakh china occupied uh, ladakh that is it's not included in that area taiwan is not included okay two major areas are not included number three um, china 96 four us 95 five brazil brazil 85 85 6 Australia 76 76 7 India 32 32 you want to write the eighth one Argentina Argentina A R G E N T I N A Argentina dash Argentina dash 28 it is 27 point upper so like 28 28 that's it hmm ninth is Kazakhstan but it's okay you don't have right see US's area is fourth largest population is third largest population wise third largest okay India has been ranked at the dash position in the latest World Competitive Index released by the Institute of Management Development in June 2020. June. Last month they released this index. So we were ranked 43rd. 43rd. You write this. World Competitive Index 2020. Okay. If you have written that, underline that. Rank 1, Sweden, sorry, Singapore, I'm sorry. 1, Singapore, 2, Denmark, Denmark, 1, Singapore, 2, Denmark, 3, Sweden, 3, Sweden, 4, Netherlands, N-E-T-H-E-R-L-A-N-D-S, Netherlands, 5, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Next, ranks of BRICS nations. BRICS, simply write BRICS. Upper in each other. B R I C S. BRICS. B for Brazil. Brazil, fifty-six. Russia. I think it is fifty. Other hand, fifty. 56, 50, I, India, 43, 43, China, 20, rank 20, 20, B's, South Africa, 59, rank 59, rank 59, cool guys, we got on. In fact, last year also India's rank was 43rd. 2019 and 2020, same rank, 43rd rank. Okay. And by the way, this IMD is one of the top ranked MBA colleges in the world. One of the best, that is highest ranked MBA colleges in the world. It's pretty expensive. It's, it offers a one-year program. It's based in Switzerland, Rossi in Switzerland. One of the best five in the world. Which of the following lending institutions has recently approved a 750 million emergency response program for MEs? 
okay uh, the world bank has done this the world bank uh, we know the ceos the head offices of all this but shall we write once again just for revision aiib aiib choice one aiib dash is it uh, beijing beijing b e i j i n g beijing dash the head the chief's name is jin j i n jin likan l i q u n likan l i q u n likan jin likan in brackets china 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 number 2 european central bank european central bank the head office is in frankfurt frankfurt f r a n k f u r t frankfurt which is in germany frankfurt the chief is the president of the bank is christine lagarde christine c h r i s t i n e christine lagarde l a g a r d e christine lagarde Christine Lagarde. Mm. She is from France. Christine Lagarde is from France. Next, New Development Bank. New Development Bank. New Development Bank. Dash. Okay. Mm. Shanghai. Shanghai is where the head office is. Shanghai. Shanghai. Dash. Shanghai dash. The chief is K V Kamath. Krishna Vaman Kamath. Krishna Vaman V A M A N Vaman Kamath K A M A T H. Krishna Vaman Kamath. Krishna Vaman Kamath. India World Bank head office Washington DC Washington DC come on so Washington DC comma US it's US who is the president David Malpass David D A B I D David Malpass, M A L P A S S, David Malpass. David Malpass, U S, U S. Asian Development Bank, right? This Asian Development Bank dash. Yeah, head office is at Manila, M A N I L A, Manila. Manila, comma, the Philippines, the Philippines, P H I L I P P I N E S, single L, Philippines, the Philippines. Dash. The president is a Japanese fellow. His name is Masat Sugu Ayakawa. Masat Sugu, M A S A. T S U G U. I repeat. M A S A T S U G U. Masat Sugu. Ayakawa. A Y A K A W A. Ayakawa. Masat Sugu. Ayakawa. Japan. China. Which became the first country, African country, to submit reduced emissions uh, from deforestation and forest degradation results and all that. For, okay, it's Uganda. Uganda, it's a country in Central Africa. You could write a little about each of these countries. Uganda dash capital is Kampala. K A M P A L A. Kampala. Kampala, K A M P A L A, Kampala. Dash. 
The president is Yoveri Museveni. Yoveri. Y O W E R I. Yoveri Museveni. M U S E V E N I. Museveni. Yoveri Museveni. Mm. Currency is shilling. S H I L L I N G. Shilling. S H I L L I N G. Shilling. Next. Look at the choices. Namibia. Namibia is in Southwest Africa. Uh, Namibia. The capital is Windhoek. W I N D H O E K. I repeat. W I N D H O E K. Windhoek. Dash. The president is Hague Gengog. H A G E. I repeat H A G E. Heg Gengob. G E I N G O B. G E I N G O B. Heg Gengob. And the currency, there are two currencies that are accepted here. One is a Namibian dollar. Namibian dollar. Namibian dollar and South African Rand R A N D South African Rand R A N D see when you say Namibia the name comes from the name of a desert Namib desert considered the oldest desert in the world in the history of the world okay from Namibia let's go to Tanzania other coast east coast Tanzania Dash Dodoma D O D O M A Dodoma that's the capital D O D O M A Dodoma or Dodoma both are right Dodoma dash the president is John Magufuli John Magufuli M A G U F U L I I repeat M A G U F U L I Magufuli John Magufuli currency it's shilling yeah shilling s h i l l i n g shilling shilling cheek tanjane ke upar hai kenya kenya capital nairobi n a i r o b i nairobi nairobi dash Nairobi dash. The president is Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru. U H U R U. I repeat. U H U R U. Uhuru Kenyatta. K E N Y A T T A. K E N Y A T T A. Uhuru Kenyatta. Currency is shilling. S H I L L I N G. Shilling. Botswana. Last one. Hmm. Botswana. The capital is Gaborin. G A B O R E N E. G A B O R E N E. Gaborin. And the president is Mokvit C. Masisi. I'll spell M O K G. I'll repeat M O K G W E E T S I. Mokvit C. Masisi. M A S I S I. Masisi. Mokvit C. Masisi. Hmm, we'd see, must see, see. Um, the currency is Pula, P U L A, Pula, P U L A, Pula, Chen. India's MyCog Corona Help Desk has received the back two international awards at COGX 2020 in 
London. Which company has uh, see the word cog relates to cognizance that is mind. Okay, which company has developed this AI enabled artificial intelligence enabled platform called Myco Corona Help Desk? Haptic. This is a Reliance company. Haptic. You write this. Haptic. Dash. Owned by Reliance Geo. Reliance Geo. Owned by Reliance Geo. Dash. Co-founded by. Co-founded by. Akrit Vaish. A A K R I T. Akrit. I repeat A A K R I T Akrit Vaish V A I S H Vaish and and Swapan Swapan S W A P A N Swapan Rajdev R A J D E V Swapan Rajdev Rajdev D E V Swapan Rajdev so they started this company in the term Geo acquired this company. So if you read this tech, you know, website uh, homepage, you go to the bottom of this, you will find that it's completely, uh, you know, uh, what's say, uh, it is so ready that not just 5G, but they are data ready for 6G. Their infrastructure ready, technology ready for not just 5G, but also 6G. So in the previous class, I was talking about how, you know, uh, Reliance Geo will not go for Huawei, they may use Qualcomm, but yesterday Mukesh Ambani, before I could finish the entire thing, you know, the, the listening to the speech, uh, Mukesh Ambani also mentioned that, you know, uh, they're going to come up with their own homegrown 5G network, which is very good news for India. Hmm? Chale. Three time national award winner Saroj Khan passed away recently and she was a dance choreographer. She was one of the best, very best choreographers we have had, my friends. So, from which institution has recently released a report titled India 2020 Energy Policy Review? International Energy Agency, IEA. You write this, just IEA dash take the full form International Atomic sorry International Energy Agency dash 1974 1974 dash so when I say 1974 it was started in the established setup in 1974 dash head office at Paris HO at Paris dash Fati Birol, F A T I H. I repeat, F A T I H. Fati Birol, B I R O L. Fati Birol. Next. Moto, Moto, M O or AIM, you could write. AIM is three E's, capital E, small s, no apostrophe. 3E's dash energy security comma economic growth and environment protection and environment protection and environment protection okay leave one nice space right what is that OECD OECD Organization for Organization for Economic Cooperation Economic Cooperation and and Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and Development Dash Established 1961, 1961, Head Office Paris, Head Office Paris, Head Office Paris, mm, the Chief is J O S E, 
जे ओ एस ई लिखते हैं जे से बट वेन यू रीड इट्स हो से जे ओ एस ई हो से एंजल ए एन जी ई एल एंजल रिपीट ए एन जी ई एल हो से एंजल गुरिया जी यू आर आर आई ए गुरिया हो से एंजल गुरिया इन फैक्ट नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बट या मैक्सिको मैक्सिको आई एस ए फर्स्ट वन इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस डैश एस्टाब्लिश एस्टाब्लिश टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन डैश न्यू डेली हेड न्यू डेली हेड ऑफिस न्यू डेली डैश उपेंद्र त्रिपाठी उपेंद्र यूपी E N D R A Upendra Tripathi Upendra Tripathi of course India is from India what's remaining choice four four and five remaining G C C Gulf Cooperation Council Gulf Cooperation Council Gulf Cooperation Council this Persian Gulf okay established 1981 नेयन एन नेफ एन ए वाई एफ नेफ एन ए वाई एफ नेफ बिन बी आई एन बिन नेफ बिन फला एफ ए एल एच नेफ बिन फला एफ ए एल एच नेफ बिन फला इसम Kuwait, K U W A I T, Kuwait. Hmm. Last one, OPEC, Organization for Organization for the Petroleum Exporting Countries, for the Petroleum Exporting Countries, Petroleum Exporting Countries. Hmm. 1961, same as OECD. 1961, 1961. Head office, Vienna, V I E N N A, V I E N N A, Vienna, Vienna. Dash, Mohammad Barkindo, Mohammad. M O H A M M A D Muhammad Barkindo B A R K I N D O Barkindo Muhammad Barkindo Okay Hmm That's it guys lot uh, is from Nigeria Nigeria N I G E R I A Nigeria Balance transfer is the process of transferring amount due in a credit card to another card. So if you have some balance on credit card, the payment is date is coming, but you don't have money to pay. So what you can do is uh, you can transfer this to another card. So this would become an EMI over the next card. Okay. And normally what happens is the other company that other card company that takes this loan, that takes that thing, it says we will pay you that money, which you can pay there or simply. It works like this. You have card A. I'll give you an example. Okay. Let's say I have some money on this card. Okay. Or I have some balance on this card. I don't have the money to pay. I don't have the money to pay. So I can now transfer it this balance to this. 
what this bank will do is it will charge me a processing fee and a low rate of interest compared to what this will charge me if I don't make the payment on time. How much like in the last session we had a we had a class we had a class on uh, on uh, what to say credit card interest rates. So how much is the interest rate? So if I don't pay on time on this card, it could be like anywhere between um, you know 40 to 44 percent per annum. 40 to 44 percent because the monthly interest rate is about 2.95 something. Let's say 2.9 compounded monthly. So it comes to about 40 44 percent. So if I don't pay on time, this is what the bank will charge me, which is very, very high. So instead, I transfer it to this account. It's easy to transfer it to this account. If I transfer, I may be charged about 13% interest. That's about it. It becomes a personal loan kind of thing. But I have to pay processing charge and all that. So it helps making a avoid it helps two things one help you make a, avoid a default if you don't want to make payment on time and two, if you don't make the payment on time and two it helps you save an interest cost of you know money cost of money is interest okay who is the chief who is india's chief vigilance commissioner sanjay kothari sanjay kothari who are these chaps yeah Rishesh, Rishi Kumar Shukla, CBI Director, Director of Central Bureau of Investigation, Central Bureau of Investigation, Central Bureau of Investigation, Harsh Vardhan Shringla, Foreign Secretary of India, Foreign Secretary of India, next, Sunil Arora is the Chief Election Commissioner of India, Chief Election Commissioner of India, Chief Election Commissioner of India, and Arvind Saxena is the Chairman of the Union Public Service Commission. Union Public Service Commission. Union Public Service Commission. Yeah. Which of the following is our observers of the network for um, greening the financial system? All of them, I think we took notes on all of them actually. OECD, Tabi Diliyata, ADB also, IMF we know, and um, I think in the last session or so, IMF, we took notes on IMF. IFC is International Finance Corporation, which is a part of the World Bank Group. We have already taken notes on this. So I will tell you a little about this NGFS. Please write NGFS. Underline that. You write the full form actually. Network for Grading the Financial System. Underline that first point. A global network, a global network of central banks, central banks advocating, advocating, A D V O C A T I N G, advocating a more M O R E, more sustainable, sustainable, S U S T A I N. I'm sorry guys. S U S T A I N A B L E sustainable financial system. A more sustainable financial system. Next. Second point. Um, it aims to analyze this. It aims to A I M S aims to analyze the consequences the consequences of climate change of climate change for the financial for the financial system for the financial system and to redirect and to redirect global financial global financial flows to redirect global financial flows to enable 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 low carbon low 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 carbon economic growth low carbon economic growth that's it low carbon economic growth see everyone's talking of climate change, everyone's talking of sustainable environment, sustainable growth, 
So even the banks are saying that we should avoid using any kind of technology that could harm the environment. We should not fund those companies that harm the environment. So, so much. Hmm? What is the name of the prize launched by the Duke of Cambridge, Prince William to encourage the world's best thinkers to help solve the climate emergency? Earth Short Prize. Please write this. Earth Short Prize. Underline that. Right. First point. To encourage, to encourage and inspire people. To encourage and inspire people to find, to find, find, innovative, innovative, I-N-N-O-V-A-T-I-V-E, innovative solutions, innovative solutions to climate issues, to climate issues, I-S-S-U-E-S, -S -S, climate issues, full stop. Five winners, five winners per year, five, five, punch. winners per year, okay, next, name, the name Earthshot, this Earth jo, jo prize here, Earthshot, the name is a play, the name is a play on the word, on the word, Moonshot, Moonshot, M N, sorry, M O O N S H O T, Moonshot. Dash. Which since which W H I C H W H I C H which since the moon landing, since the first moon landing in 1969 has become has become a byword b y w o r d synonym a byword for ambitious for ambitious goals ambitious goals yeah so, it's always good to have great ambitions i strongly believe in this hmm World Youth Skills Day is observed on 15th July. In fact, just, uh, you know, the Prime Minister came on TV. He was there all over the place and uh, he discussed World Youth Skills Day, why young people should arm themselves. He said, learn, upskill, relearn. You know, this is very important. It's learning, unlearning, relearning. They're all very, very important. So, See, people like me had no idea of how computers work. When till about my degree, I did not know how to use a computer. But slowly we learn, and this is how we have become better now. Over a period of time, we become better. Yeah. So it takes time, but you should learn. It's very important to learn, especially at your age. You know, you should learn. Focus on two things. One, whatever is required for the exams. Okay. Two, learn the English language. It's very important to learn the English language. It's okay to speak in Hindi, it's okay to speak in Malayalam. If it's your mother tongue, well, what's the big deal about it? Yeah, see, if as a Marwadi, if I speak in Marwadi, what's the big deal about it? I am, I was born with it, isn't it? So we should learn a language that most people don't you know, that, that, that would help us do well in life. That's it, yeah. So please make sure you learn a language, especially the English language, okay? So 12th January, Learn, remember the words of great Swami Vivekananda because that's his birthday. 12th January, National Youth Day. National Youth Day. National Youth Day. Dash, birthday of Swami Vivekananda. Birthday of Swami Vivekananda. Birthday of Swami Vivekananda. Next, 11th May. 11th May. Um... National Technology Day, National Technology Day, India's National Technology Day, dash, dash, on this day, on this day, comma, on this day, comma, in 1998, 
on this day, comma, in 1998, comma, India tested, India tested three nuclear bombs, three nuclear bombs, three nuclear bombs. We're running short of time, guys. May 31st, no tobacco day. Yes, it is. Yeah, no tobacco day. No tobacco day. 19th August, photography day. Photography day. World photography day. Kya kya? World photography day. On 15th July 2022, which two auto giants announced that when their planned merger is completed, the new company will be called Stellantis. Answers there. Answers there. So I would suggest you write the names of the CEOs of these companies. CEOs of these companies. Okay. So Fiat Chrysler. Fiat actually in Fiat ka full form is Fiat is um, Fabbrica Italiano Automobili Torino. Fabbrica Italiano Automobili Torino. That's a full name of Fiat. Okay. Um, लेकिन कोई फुल नेम यूज करता नहीं है दे परचेज इट्स एन इटालियन कंपनी इट परचेज्ड एन अमेरिकन कंपनी कॉल्ड क्राइस्लर सो इट बिकम फियर क्राइस्लर नो व्हाट डस क्राइस्लर मेक इट्स मोस्ट मोस्ट फेमस प्रोडक्ट इज जीप जे ई ई पी जीप सो फियर क्राइस्लर इज अ ओनर ऑफ ब्रांड्स लाइक इफ यू वांट राइट जस्ट ब्रांड्स या वेयर एवर पॉसिबल ब्रांड्स यू राइट फियर क्राइस्लर ब्रांड्स अम फेरारी Ferrari, F E R R A R I, Ferrari, comma, Jeep, J E E P, Jeep, and Alfa Romeo, A L F A, Alfa Romeo, R O M E O, Romeo. I love automobile industry. So, okay, so Jeep. is something that most people are familiar with isn't it what is this group psa you must have heard of a brand called pujo pujo and citrion you could write uh pujo p e u i repeat p e g e sorry 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 p e u g e o t p e e u I always get confused up with this particular word. I don't know why. P E U G E O T. Be saying it. P E U G E O T. Pujo. I don't know why, but I get confused. Pujo. Pujo. T silent. Pujo. Pujo. And Citrion. Citrion. C I T R O E N. Citrion. 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 So, इनका merger होने वाला है. The new company called Stellantis. Okay. Uh, see, you look at CEOs. Just write for our CEOs. We'll end the class with this. Fiat Chrysler CEO, FCA CEO, Mike Manley, Mike M I K E, Mike Manley, M A N L E Y, Mike Manley, M A N L E Y. <coughs> Group PSA CEO Carlos C A R L O S Carlos Taveras T A V A R E S T A V A R E S Taveras. Okay. Next, you look at choices. General Motors and um, Ford. General Motors we discussed it in the recent past. CEO. Mary Barra, Mary M A R Y, Mary Barra B A R R A, Mary Barra. If you want brands, you could just write Mary Barra dash Chevrolet C H E V R O L E T Chevrolet Chevrolet and Chevrolet and Cadillac C A D I L L A C Cadillac. We'll not write many. We'll write one two brands. That's it. Cadillac, Ford, Ford के CEO हैं, Jim Hackett, Jim, J I M, Jim, Hackett, 
H E C K E T T H E C K E T T Hackett Jim Hackett in some places you will find H A C K both are that's also right Jim Hackett four K brands you can write Aston Martin A S T O N Aston Martin M A R T I N Aston Martin there are a lot of brands it owns anyway uh, Nissan and Renault Nissan Nissan CEO is a Japanese company yeah right Makato M A K O T O M A K O T O Makato Uchida U C H I D A I repeat U C H I D O sorry I D A Uchida Makato Uchida see Nissan is a Japanese company but about 43% of that company is owned by Renault which you choice to me Nissan and Renault yeah, they are already merged they are already actually Renault owns 43% of Nissan okay now Renault is a French company Renault ne kena chahiye Renault kena chahiye Renault okay you can say Renault also right Renault CEO Renault CEO Luca L U C A Luca Luca Dio Luca D D E D Mio M E O Luca D Mio Kya naam hai Luca D Mio That's you know Renault CEO Nissan is uh, Makato Uchida You know Nissan Renault Mitsubishi tino ka alliance hai Renault owns 43% of Nissan 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 owns 34% of Mitsubishi confusing hai na no problem leave it BMW is ka bhi full name hai Berishe Motor and Work hai you don't write you just write CEO's name CEO Dr Norbert N O R B E R T N O R B E R T Norbert Dr Norbert Rate Hover R E I T H O F E R R E I T H O F E R Rate Hover Norbert Rate Hover Hmm. Daimler, I think two three days back we took the name of the guy. Ola Kalinius, Ola, O L A, Ola. I repeat, O L A, Ola, Ola. Kalinius, K A L L E N I U S, Kalinius, Ola Kalinius. It's a maker of Mercedes cars. You know Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce is made by BMW. It's owned by BMW. Rolls Royce is owned by BMW. Honda. Honda CEO. Honda and Toyota are Japanese companies. Honda. Takahiro Hachigo. T A K A H I R O. I repeat. T A K A H I R O. Takahiro. Hachigo H A C H I G O Hachigo Hachigo Toyota The name comes from the name of the family Toyota family Tika okay? English spelling hai. The president is Akio Toyota Akio A K I O Akio Akio Toyota T O Y O D A Toyota Akio Toyota What discuss kya yaar hmm. See in 98 in 1998 Daimler had purchased Chrysler They bought it for 38 billion dollars 38 billion dollars 38 billion dollars 
So, but unfortunately, they didn't really make it work for them because this was an American company and this was German and they believed that there were a lot of similarities, a lot of synergies, nothing worked for them. So, finally in 2008, Daimler sold Chrysler. Kitne mein? 8 billion dollar mein. 8. They made a huge loss on it. Huge loss it was. But then these are large companies, very large companies, they can absorb all the losses. Okay? So, Oh, that was the last one. Thanks for being here, guys. I think we stuck to the time. Uh, hopefully, I don't exactly. Um, I think we stuck to the time. So, whatever it is, uh, next week we'll discuss uh, Hong Kong. We'll discuss um, anything more important than this. You please give us, give me, send mails, and we will put it across. You know, to the screen for you. Thanks for being, for being here, guys. Have a lot of fun. Take care of yourself, and please stay curious.